This country is home to more than 6,000 caves. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're delving into the enchanting beauty of Slovakia, a country that seamlessly blends historical charm with modern allure. Stick around until the end to gain a deeper appreciation for Slovakia's history, geography, and culture. Slovakia is situated in East Central Europe and covers approximately 49,000 square kilometers, 18,919 square miles. The country is divided into eight regions, Bratislava, Trnava, Nitra, Trenčín, Banska Bystrica, Zelina, Kosice, and Presov. Bratislava, located in the southwest, is the capital and largest city. The terrain of Slovakia is largely mountainous. The Western Carpathians dominate most of the country, with the High Tatras being a popular destination on the border with Poland. The highest peak is Gerlachowski Peak at 2,655 meters, or 8,743 feet. The Low Tatras, which are part of the Western Carpathians, run through the middle of the country. Outside of the mountains, the terrain levels out into valleys, basins, and plateaus. A distinctive feature of Slovakia's geography is its abundance of caves. Slovakia has over 6,000 known caves across its territories, many with intricate cave systems, passages, formations, underground rivers, and pools. This includes the UNESCO-listed Domica Cave, Demonovska Cave of Liberty, and Dobsinska Ice Cave. The prevalence of karst topography allows for so many caves to form within the mountains. The caves of Slovakia are an impressive natural phenomenon and a popular tourist attraction. Other notable geographic features include Danube River, Slovakia's major river that forms the southwestern border with Hungary, important for transportation and hydroelectricity. Tatra Mountains, largest mountain range located along the Polish border, includes the scenic High Tatras. Demonovska Cave of Liberty. One of the country's most visited caves, known for its unique stalactite and stalagmite formations. Low Tatras, mountain range running through the center of Slovakia with scenic peaks, valleys, and over 70 glacial lakes. Slovakia has a population of around 5.4 million people, according to World Bank data. The majority ethnic group in Slovakia is Slovak at over 80% of the population. Other ethnic minorities include Hungarians, Roma, and Czech. It used to be part of Czechoslovakia, which influences its ethnic makeup today. The official language is Slovak, spoken by over 80% of the population. It is closely related to Czech. Hungarian is also recognized as an official language and is spoken by around 10% of Slovaks, especially in the southern regions. Other minority languages include Romani, Ukrainian, Rusin, German, and Polish. English has been growing in popularity as a second language. The main religion in Slovakia is Christianity, with most people belonging to the Roman Catholic Church at over 62%. About 13% of people are Protestants, mostly Lutherans. Greek Catholics make up around 4% of the population. Only 13% identified as atheist, non-religious, or did not specify a religion. Other religious minorities include Jews and Muslims. Slovak cooking reflects the country's agrarian roots with hearty, filling dishes often made from potatoes, cabbage, pork, and cheese. Brinzov Haluski. One of Slovakia's national dishes is Brinzov Haluski, tiny potato dumplings topped with salty sheep's milk cheese called Brinza. This hearty meal often includes crispy bits of bacon. The combination of soft dumplings, salty cheese, and smoky bacon is comforting and delicious. Kapustnika. Kapustnika is a thick cabbage soup sometimes known as Slovak sauerkraut soup. It's made with sauerkraut, mushrooms, carrots, parsley, and often sausage or smoked pork. 
This sour and hearty soup is a beloved staple that provides warmth in the cold Slovak winters. Zemiakove Plaki. For a tasty potato dish, try Zemiakov Plaki, which are pancakes made from grated potatoes, flour, and egg. They are often served as a side or main course topped with garlic oil or brinza cheese. These potato pancakes are crispy on the outside and tender inside. Loxi. Loxi are thinly rolled savory crepes made from potato dough. They can be stuffed with cheese, meat, or mushrooms and covered in sauce. Loxi is an excellent showcase of the simple yet filling foods found in Slovak cooking. The area of present-day Slovakia was settled by Celts, Germanic tribes, and Slavs in the first centuries AD. In the 9th century, the territory was incorporated into the Great Moravian Empire. After its decline, the region became part of the Kingdom of Hungary for nearly 1,000 years. In 1526, Slovakia fell under Habsburg rule as part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Slovaks did not have political representation or autonomy. However, the Habsburg era saw economic growth, the construction of railroads and mines, and an emphasis on education. After World War I and the breakup of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Slovakia joined with Czech lands to form the new country of Czechoslovakia in 1918. During this first Czechoslovak Republic, Slovakia industrialized and democratized, but still lacked independence. In World War II, Nazi Germany occupied Czechoslovakia, and Slovakia existed as a separate client state under its rule. After the war, Czechoslovakia was reunited, but fell under Soviet influence. From 1948 to 1989, the Communist Party dominated the totalitarian regime of Czechoslovakia. Finally, on January 1, 1993, Slovakia gained independence through the peaceful dissolution of Czechoslovakia. Slovakia joined the EU and NATO in the 2000s and adopted the euro currency in 2009, cementing its status as a developed democratic nation. Slovakia historically relied on agriculture, cattle breeding, and forestry. The territory was controlled by the Kingdom of Hungary for centuries. Under communist Czechoslovakia, from 1948 to 1989, the centralized regime focused on heavy industry, arms, and manufacturing. As of 2022, its GDP stands at around $116 billion, according to World Bank data. After the Velvet Revolution ended communist rule, Slovakia began its transition to a modern market economy. The process involved the privatization of state-owned enterprises, loosening price controls, reducing subsidies, and establishing financial institutions. The breakup of Czechoslovakia in 1993 allowed independent Slovakia to accelerate reforms. Today, Slovakia possesses a high-income advanced economy and one of the fastest growth rates in the EU. Its major industries include automobiles, electronics, chemicals, machinery, and metallurgy. Key exports are cars, electronics, and other manufactured goods, mostly to Germany, Czechia, and Poland. The service sector now generates over 60% of the GDP. Unemployment is below 7%. The capital Bratislava is a major hub for shared service centers and startups. Despite progress, Slovakia faces challenges like income inequality, Roma minority poverty, corruption, skill shortages, and an aging population. The economy is dependent on manufacturing exports and needs more innovation and services. However, EU membership, infrastructure investments, and education reforms should help address these issues. If you enjoyed this video on Slovakia, you'll love this next one.